publish the design. Once a project is completed or has reached the stage where you need to issue the latest set of revisions, Vectorworks offers a variety of different formats for your files. You may wish to print them or create portable document format or PDF files. Alternatively, you may need to produce documents in DWG format so that they can be imported into AutoCAD. If you're printing from your own office using your own printer, the process is simple. Your page size for the sheets will already have been set up correctly during the page setup process and, therefore, the plan will print the scale on the chosen media. If you don't have a large format printer in your office, your best option is to create a PDF of your sheets and then send those to be printed via email or a large file transfer service. Alternatively, you could consider not printing at all and instead share documents electronically with your clients and project colleagues using a service such as Vectorworks Cloud Services and the Nomad app. Print the plan. With your own printer available, printing is simple as long as your page area matches the page sizes available through your printer driver. It's important to ensure that the printer doesn't apply any scaling to the document as the drawing is already at the correct scale. Choose File, Print to open the print dialog and review the following options. Printer, choose your printer. Settings menu, choose the appropriate settings for your printer. Each printer will offer different options, so it's difficult to show you a definite way to do things here. But once you've explored the options and you're happy that you're ready to go, click Print. Exporting to PDF. PDF files can be created from either the design layer with the active visibility settings or from a sheet layer. You can create a single PDF or create a series of PDF files from selected sheets as a batch process. Choose File, Export, Export PDF. The Export PDF dialog opens. Check Export Design Layers as PDF layers. This will allow you to create an interactive document where you can turn elements on and off in your PDF viewer, provided that your PDF viewer application supports this. Check Open PDF in the default viewer to see the file when it's been created. Choose the resolution setting you want for the final image. Remember that the higher the DPI setting, the larger the file will be. If the PDF DPI setting is higher than the current sheet layer DPI setting, the document will render as part of the export process. Click Export. Choose a file name and location for the PDF file. Click Save. The PDF file will open in your default PDF viewer application. Return to the Vectorworks application. Publish a set of sheets in different formats. In this case, we have several sheets that make up the project. Using the Publish facility, you can export your sheet layers individually or as a single multi-page PDF file. You can also choose a mixture of PDF, print and DWG as the export destination for the sheets. Choose File, Publish. At the bottom of the dialog, choose the default export type. In this case, choose PDF. Press Shift and select each of the sheets that will be published. In this case, all of them. Click the arrow button to move the selected sheets to the right side of the dialog. At the top of the dialog, click Save a Set. Name the set Publish to PDF. Click OK. Click Publish. Choose the location on your hard drive for the exported files and click OK. Once the files are published, they will open in your default PDF viewer. Notice that the PDF itself is a multi-page PDF. By default, the batch export process will create a single multi-page file. However, Check Export as separate files if you wish to create separate PDF documents. 
return to Vectorworks and click OK to dismiss the published dialog. Choose File Publish again. Select one of the sheets. To publish a black and white copy of the sheet, click in the colour column to change the setting for this sheet. Select one of the sheets on the right hand side of the dialog. Change Publish to to DWG slash DXF. Although the default publish choice on the left is PDF, it is still possible to override the settings for individual sheets in the set. Click Publish to start the export. As you've changed the settings from your original saved set, you'll be prompted to save the set so that you can recall these new settings later. To save time on this occasion, click No, but for future exports, this is something you should consider to save time in recalling settings. Choose a file name and location for the published set of files and click Open. The PDF file will be displayed in the default PDF viewer. The DWG file will be in a folder under the same location you specified in 12 above. To view the DWG file, you would need a copy of AutoCAD software or a DWG viewer. With this small project containing only three sheets, individual exports will be easy, but with more complex projects, creating files in the desired output format can be time-consuming. The Publish facility makes it easy to create multiple types of output with a single command. Well, that's the final exercise in our quick tour of Vectorworks Landmark. Let's revisit the objectives of this section. You're now able to create sheet layers and amend their properties, add a title block to a sheet layer, create viewports of your design that allow you to show it in many different orientations, create a sunny exterior render of a viewport using a Renderworks style, create PDFs of your design and print your design. You've seen the value of creating a structured drawing and building a 3D model as part of your design process. Sheet layers and viewports allow you to present that information in a wide variety of formats without having to redraw anything at all. Sheet layers are used to pull together all the aspects of the design that you want to present. They can include images, text and worksheets, as well as the elements designed within Vectorworks.